have an ideal man, but if I did, he'd be charismatic, not insecure, thoughtful, not needy, ambitious, not lazy, sensitive, not smothering, adventurous, not boring, funny, but not obnoxious, mysterious, not obsessive. Well, that's not too much to ask, is it? The real sex in the city, coming soon to Sky One. is the world capital for gorgeous singles. The city where energy levels never let up and everyone works hard and plays hard. And at the center of it all is the dating scene. But in a city where there's said to be five man-seeking single women to every eligible guy, the odds are stacked in the boys' favor. To find out what life is really like for single women in the Big Apple, we followed a selection of feisty, frank, and upfront New Yorkers across a hot and heavy summer. We like men. We want a man. We like grown men. <laughs> Since her divorce, Sandra has been dating with a vengeance. It's been fun. It's been really fun. Yeah, I'm probably dating too many. Six? Is six bad? I don't know. But I mean, you know, a lot of them are, they travel and I can only see them when they come into town and we get together for dinner. I have a rule that they need to call me by nine o'clock on a Tuesday evening to take me out for the weekend. And if they do not call before 9 o'clock on a Tuesday evening. I always tell them, I'm sorry, but I already have plans for this weekend. What about next week? Somebody told me once, write a list. I told you that. Write a list of what's a requirement and what's a want. And whatever your requirements are, you, you can't in adjust in a man. And then you can't fit your requirements to, to the man you've met. You have to fit your man like to the requirements. So when you meet a man, well, hopefully you do that while you're single. And then you really know exactly what you require mm -hmm. in a relationship which could be like, you know, a non-smoker, a non-drinker, right. you know, something like that. All four Barracudas are very active on the dating scene, but it's actress and bartender Kathy who seems to have the most exotic tastes. I really can't get into that um, as far as how crazy and wild it is, but my ex-boyfriend and I, like, we were the best each other's had ever in bed. There's an amazing chemistry between us, and it's always fun and great. The Barracudas are four friends who meet up regularly and support each other through the trials and tribulations of the New York dating scene. Newly divorced Sandra lectures on wine. We all have to know what we're talking about, whether it's sex, wine, politics, business. And having rediscovered the dating scene is intent on having as much fun as possible. Donna is a model and actress. She has a Mr. Big in her life, but is still dating while she waits for him to be ready to settle down. Kathleen is addicted to self-help books and works as a lady barber to many of Wall Street's finest. I worked in the salon in Wall Street for about a year and a half, two years, then started my own business. And the youngest barracuda, Kathy, is another actress who pays the rent by bartending at a hot night spot. The other night, on Tuesday night, I had a $2,000 tip. They all have had their ups and downs with men and enjoy laughing about it. I lovingly called these women barracudas when I was married and and uh, just always hearing the funny stories about the boys and oh, this date, that diet, this, this freak, that, oh my God, you wouldn't move this. I'm like, you guys are like barracudas. You go through men, like, you know, fish through whatever. And uh, it just stuck. Yeah. If a guy can kiss right up front, that actually helps me get closer to them. And I don't what? want them slobbering all over me. Like, how many times do you have to, like, closer? wipe your yeah. mouth off? Because these guys, well, like, some guys, yeah. They're on top of you and they don't bother swallowing. That's so disgusting. Oh my god, the grossest thing, this guy that I was kissing once was actually spitting in my mouth. Oh! Honest what? to god, he actually, he was like on top of me, and he was like, well it up and push it into my mouth. Wait, and I honestly god minute. said to him, don't do that. Like, <laughs> that's, don't spit in my mouth. I'm not in any rush to get a, a boyfriend because right. I love going out and meeting all these different people and we're getting invited out yeah, by right. all these different people because we're all single and, and I just think having this group in my life and you know they've helped me through this breakup that I went through in May and they're still helping thanks Kat um <sighs> being single being all in New York it's nice to have the dedication to each other mm -hmm. we're on the phone all the time all the emails the emails that come in at like two o'clock in the morning yeah <laughs> what are you doing online how was your date <laughs> Look 
for as, as a dynamic because we do have a lot in common and we like to do the same things. But we're all different enough in our own way and I think it's really important that we're all attracted to different kinds of men. Which is nice because then we're not ever in jeopardy of our friendship in over a guy, which is nice. The Barracudas are all supportive of each other's dating dilemmas. Donna is madly in love with this one guy, and we're all praying that it works out for her. But in the meantime, until it comes around, she's also dating different people. Sandra, particularly, has just made such a transition over the last six months. She hadn't been single in such a long, long time. And it's really fun now to watch to, 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 you know, the Barracuda Brigade. That's her name, and, and she really is the Barracuda of the group. She's out there juggling five guys, and she'll say to me, oh, I've got this date tonight, and I'll be like, which guy's this? Which one? Which one are we talking about? Kathy, I believe, just got out of a relationship, so she's just dating. And you know, she started a new job, and she's really focusing on her career. But I think eventually, everybody wants to be with someone. It's a little bit of a game, although I hate that word because I don't like to think I'm playing games. But um, I think the men here are very um, established in their lives and set in their ways, especially men that have made it to their 40s without ever being married and have been single, though, such as the two men that I'm dating both are. Today, the Barracudas are going to the Hamptons. It's not always glamorous. The reality usually means squishing in with dozens of others in a share. But no such indignity for the Barracudas. They've hit the jackpot because Donna's current man, Steve, just happens to be wealthy enough to have a mansion all to himself. As one man is about to get the heave ho, the Barracudas are on the hunt for fresh blood. The Hamptons has two completely different lives out here. You can either come out, stay at the house, barbecue, hang with your friends at your own little house, and never see or be a part of anything else. And then there's the existence of what we're doing this weekend. In the Hamptons, the competition to have the best time is intense. It's really all about who can throw the better party and who can have the best guests. But everybody wants to see the pictures of who's been photographed where. And if you're in it, everybody's like for weeks talking about, I saw you in dance papers. And it's kind of the social scene of the Hamptons. Barracudas are finding plenty to observe on the beach. Oh, there's a cat over there. We said, really? really? And we were just like, dude. And she goes, oh, he's going to be stuck on his back. Which guy? Oh, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love to people watch. You know, it's like you see some of these guys in their little Speedo sport things. Although you don't see too many of them out here. Oh, no. Cool. The Speedo the thing, though, cracks me up. Awful. I don't know. Yeah. You guys are just <laughs> they're too baby faced. They're, they're, they're just too silly. You know, the young boys, they're, they're boys. We're like men. We went to men. We're like grown men. The Barracudas have gone back to Steve's multi-million dollar mansion, their base for the weekend. I woke up this morning and came out and saw this beautiful backyard and went, oh my, <laughs> I had no idea. It was lovely. These girls are taking a shower and we're drinking wine. <laughs> taking our time. And we're, uh, we have about an hour before we're going to dinner with Steve and several of his friends. It should be fun. To stay ahead of the pack, a girl needs a large wardrobe, so shopping is often on their agenda. The talk may usually be about men, but when you're in the best shopping city in the world, there are plenty of other distractions. I always find a good deal. Always. I wore this out last night with Jamie. You look like the Mad Hatter, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That looks all different. Meow! She's not the clothes horse like the rest of us. It's really bad. I mean, this one, oh my god, this oh my one. God. We've, been We've been bad. I had really to look bad. for shoes for the ballet when we went to the right. ballet. And I'm she tried on at least two things, and then she'd be like, I think I'm going to get this. I think I'm going to get spurts, because I get out of control. I truly am a shopaholic. So once yeah. you start shopping at all. Yeah. You think this is too tight? Should I get the next size? I like that. Father Alan, and uh, we 
person here is another crazy member of the family, my brother Alan. It's an exclusive world. Sandra's brother spins off but manages to carry on. Barracudas Kathy and Kathleen have missed the first race, but make it in time for the one that's drawing the crowds. There's a Hollywood heartthrob behind the wheel. Mr. Paul Newman's in third place. The man is like in his 70s and he's in third place. All eyes are on the veteran movie superstar. He's without a shirt, you know, he's pitted next to Madonna. There's a Porsche for you. cars, two drivers, eight wheels, good day. <laughs> and four barracudas. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to Chelsea Pier. Thank you. Hello. The barracudas will have the best view of all. They've met up with Kathy and will be watching from a friend's $5 million yacht. Oh, How beautiful. beautiful. Oh, look, look at that. That's, that's a nice big there's a bidet. This is bigger than my apartment. They have to leave early to get a good position on the East River. This boat right over here is a New York City Police Department marine boat because Robert, the owner of this boat, was appointed lifetime police commissioner of the city of New York. So we're getting a police escort. But they're certainly not the first to arrive. And it's the Barracudas who are in the perfect position for one of the world's greatest annual spectacles. Just a New York moment, right? Yes. The Barracudas are back in Manhattan for an end of summer celebration. They've all had their ups and downs. Donna has been out with a few different guys, including millionaire Steve. But the man she really cares about won't commit, and she wants to settle down. I'm getting tired of being single. I really think that um, I'm getting ready to settle down and get married. I'm at a point now where I want a more serious relationship. I've had a lot of fun in this city. I've had a great time being single. I think I've done it very well, if I must say. And I've been <laughs> coaching my girlfriends on how else to do that. Thank you. <laughs> After a busy summer, Kathleen, the Lady Barber, is also keen to settle. I would love to get married. I'm at the point in my life where I, I'm so sick of the dating rat race. What I want in a man is a man. Everyone wants all the great qualities, the great family, the sense of humor, the fun, the security. I want all that, but I want and need a man. I need someone who has a lot of fun, a lot of energy, and like me. I want me. That's 6'2, <laughs> handsome, secure in himself. That's what I want. I just want a male version of me. Newly divorced Barracuda Sandra has been dating like crazy over the summer, but the novelty of being free and single has begun to wear off. I've, I've met one gentleman after another. They're, they've all been lovely. They've been. Um, I've learned something from every person that I've met. I would like to get married and have a family and have security and have um, a positive life. And, and when I mean a positive life, I mean somebody who has the same fun, positive attitude that I have, somebody who family is important to, who their professional life 
is in check and their personal life is in check. You can't have one outbalance the other. You absolutely have to have that, that magical little balance. That's important to me. But it's Kathy who's keenest on playing the dating scene. Her busy summer has been peppered with passionate reunions with her ex, Boban. But that's not going to cramp her style. In the beginning of the summer, I was dating a lot, and then I went through a lot. But honestly, this week, I have been like attracting guys, so I think it's going to pick up again. So it, it's just kind of going up and down, up and down. Like I have like two new guys on the horizon that I'm going to call when I get back. So that's kind of cool. I, I feel happy. good. And that's fine. <laughs> so you're attracting, uh, you're happy, yeah. so you're attracting positive energy. I, I don't really want to get married. I, I don't, I'm not adverse to getting married. I don't particularly really like, like that's not what I'm going out. I'm, I do seek like a relationship, but I'm not going to like settle with someone that doesn't give me all the qualities that I want. So until I find that, I'm going to be very happy dating and being single until all my girlfriends get married. And then I might change my mind. To the Barracuda. To the Barracuda. To the summer of 2001. Yeah. Absolutely.